this afternoon as we get things going from Durham with the called strike to Jacoby Long. But talking to multiple Miami folks said that he was one of their best arms coming out of spring practice and he gets a strike out of Gracia to end the first. Phenomenal third baseman for Miami made the move to first base this year as a line to drive out to second base was speared by Morris. It takes a little bit of an adjustment for a player to be becoming one of those players that is at the top of the scouting. Slides both guys over, you know, and now it's also, you know, a personal preference. With a man on and a man down. And his first strike out of the ball game. Goes back to the fastball and gets Costello for the second out. If Miami will keep the inning alive. Carrier out to center field. Obi makes a sliding catch to end the inning. Payoff pitch. And a little bit low. A long pause. And a swing and a miss. Second strikeout for Boy Bay. Runner not going. 3 2 pitch is low. Second walk of the inning, so hard out of the bullpen. Walks eight, or excuse me, a 689 clip. That one kicks away from Winslow, and both runners will advance. And now the double play out of order. Even with the bag, hard, hard shot. Line caught by Miller. There is the hot shot. Two down. Gonzalez hitting 500 against left-handed pitching this year and delivers for the Hurricanes. Raking one down the right field line. This will play two and a two-run double for Gonzalez. Vaults the Hurricanes in front. Noon gets a ground ball to the left side. Big hop for Clark, who hurries to throw to first and ends the inning. And down on strikes. Third punch out for Hernandez. Damn, iron sharpens iron. Comes up empty on a change up there. Four strikeouts for Hernandez, at least to start the game. Morris out toward left center field, long giving chase. He makes the gliding grab, and the inning is over. Where did he do his undergraduate work at? Line to the right side, a base hit. VMI. Exactly. So if you're going to go to a military institution, you're going to have discipline instilled in everything that you do in life. To this point, you need somebody to come through and Obi breaking back. It's over his head and all the way to the wall. Obi started in. Ball was over his head. Racing around third, Costello. The relay throw is cut off. And the Hurricanes by three in the fourth. Side where you can kind of let it play into you. Diving stop by Clark. Gets up and throws him out. A nice play. Now there's an all-star play from your shortstop. To the left side, Clark can't get this one. It's into left field, and the Hurricanes with another run. It's 4 nothing, Miami. A two-out, two-strike RBI for Jacoby Long. And Miami adds another. Out to left field, Krusen looking up into the sunshine, makes the catch, and ends the inning. And Bravo set to take to the plate. Miller, first pitch swinging, lost one out toward right field. Costello nearing the line. He lost it in the sun, and it'll be extra bases for Miller, who's on his way to third to start the fourth. One, two. Half swing, he went. Strike three. Big time response there from Hernandez. And the infield on the left side is back. Willing to concede the run, and there's called strike three. What and a now, good pitch. Great pitch, and now Duke's sitting there going, wow, now we need a two-out hit. Payoff pitch. To the left side and through, he beats the shift, and the Blue Devils are on the board. Another Duke freshman continuing his quality play. The fifth inning on Friday, but just trying to find a way to get something going here. But Hernandez limits the damage as he goes back to that devastating breaking ball. Ball and just keep at it. Clark takes strike three. Borderline pitch on the inside corner. Boy, a pitcher's pitch there for the eighth strikeout for Hernandez. And he caught a piece of the corner, so let's go. And here Obi. we go. Obi bunting and is safe. A bunt single for Obi. One for 11 now this weekend. Two for 12 as he smokes one down the right field line. Obi on his way to third. Morris thinking two. Aggressive base running. And the Blue Devils have him at second and third with two down. Two and two. Miller pops it up. Toward first. Torres into foul ground. He's got it. 
And the threat is over. Two on with two out in the fifth, and Miami able to get off the hook. Now three and two on Bravo, and he's aboard. First walk of the day from the left-hander Hernandez. And Krusen down on strikes. That's the ninth strikeout for Hernandez. Stone swings and misses. And that matches a season high. Ten strikeouts for Hernandez. A pair of innings, no runs. And there's ball four to Gonzalez. Really, really good as his career continues on in a hurricane uniform. Chops one towards short. Clark at the bag feeds Morris for one. The throw is high, and the runner is at first with one man out. That's one that felt like Clark could just take that to the bag himself. And hit batsman as Scanlon takes one off the lower body. Two on, one out here. Duke, no errors to date. Good play by the third baseman there. Miller just to knock it down and get one. Certainly had the pace to be a double play ball, but couldn't field it cleanly. That one kicks away from you, and a run is in. Miami leads by four on the wild pitch. That ball out to left field, hit well. Cruising back, and we'll watch it go. A two-run home run for Carrier, and a seven-to-one hurricane lead in the eighth. And on cue, Carrier taking advantage of the opportunity to be in this lineup. Not that he hasn't been, 20th start today out of 30 total games for the Hurricanes, but quite the afternoon for number 99. Which, another look first at the home run. First home run for either team this weekend. And obviously a mistake there for Weaver, a ball a carrier able to get around on. And the Hurricanes now lead by six runs in the eight. Five walks for the Blue Devils today and three wild pitches. And another base hit. Urso aboard for the third time today. And the inning continuing here for Miami. The 0-2 runner goes. Pitch is swung on and missed, and that will be that. And Miller leading off the eighth and slapping a base hit to left field. So a multi-hit day for Ben Miller. Doesn't field that one and make a great throw. Then Duke could have something going and. Grounded towards short. Diving chance unsuccessful. Racing around third is Miller. The throw will be cut off. It's an RBI single for Chase Krusen and the Blue Devils down seven to two. Multi-hit, multi-RBI game for the rookie. Stone, the Blue Devils' first base runner today in the second inning. He struck out since then, and he lifts the ball out toward left field. Hit fairly well. This ball toward left center, and it's off the wall. Misplayed by two of the Hurricanes. Racing around there it is Bravo. He will score. They're at second and third with one man out on the RBI double by Alex Stone. Game of inches, and in this case, probably a couple of feet. And the tying run will come to the plate in the form of Devin Obi. The 1-0. Hit him! Up and in and hit him! And it's now a three-run game in the eighth. And it's Miami's turn to give a little free offense away. And another bases loaded walk. And the Blue Devils are within two. Morris, one out of four with that double back in the fifth. He loops one out to right field. Costello makes the catch. Tagging at third is Clark. He will score. And the Blue Devils, two within one. And the tying run now 90 feet away. The 2-2 on Miller. Out toward right center field. Costello racing back. Still going back. Can't get it. It's over the wall for a double. The game is tied. And the go-ahead runs at third for Duke. And that ball bouncing over the wall actually hurts them because Rodgers would have scored easily if that ball stays in play. But nonetheless, an RBI double 
of massive significance off the bat of Ben Miller tying this game six here in the eighth inning with still an opportunity to, for more with Gracia. Into the shift, Gonzalez in short right field ends the inning, but the Blue Devils. Robert ready the one-two pitch. Stone rolls one up the middle. That'll get through a two-out single. So the inning continues. 2-2. Two -two. Roll to the right side. Backhanded by Torres. He will take it himself. And it's free baseball in Durham on this Sunday afternoon. Top man out of the bullpen. Big swing and a miss there. As Stone will have to complete the strikeout and does. A couple of times in the spring. And that ball looped to left field. Krusen is there, and the inning is over. The 0-2. Obi takes strike three. Breaking ball that comes back and hits the inside corner, and Obi down on strikes for the third time today. He is. That ball out to center field, long into the right center field alleyway, makes the catch, and more baseball from Durham this afternoon. 3-1, and that's ball four. 2-2, two -two. line, base hit into left center field. Urso around second, digging for third as the ball goes to the wall. Urso's getting the green light, and Miami with an 11th inning lead. Long with his eighth hit of the weekend, vaults the Canes in front, eight to seven. Out into right center field. Obi will flag it down. Runner tags at second, heads for third. The relay throw is not in time. And Miami with an insurance run at third and one man out. Show for it yet. Ground ball up the middle and through a base hit. And Miami with a two run lead. Cuvay with his 33rd RBI of the year. And it's Miami by two in the 11th. Into center field, a base hit. Cuvay will round second as the ball was misplayed in center field. And Miami has runners at the corners with one man out. And a foul tip into Stone's mitt for strike three. Conti delivers. Line drive through the left side. Scanlon beats the shift. Another run is in. Racing for third and diving in safely is Gonzalez. Miami leads by three. And we'll take another look as Duke asks for the challenge here. Close. Ooh, very close. Closer than I thought in real time. Yeah. Watch the right hand in the tag. He is out. And the call overturned. Miller up the middle, and that'll find its way to center field for a leadoff hit. A four-hit day for Ben Miller. Now nah, let him swing. Oh, he's showing bunt here. And he takes ball four. And the Blue Devils will bring the tying run to the plate with nobody out in the 11th. Three and two the count, the pitch. Line drive into right center field and a base hit. Around third comes Miller. He's going to score, and the Blue Devils bring the winning run to the plate. Albright bunts toward the mound. They will throw to first, and it's dropped! And the bases are loaded with nobody out. No call was made as in terms of out or safe at second base. And now they're going to call a balk and they're gonna let the runners advance. Oh my. And it's a one run game. It's now 10 to nine as Gracia scores. And they're gonna intentionally pass Stone to load the bases again. With well, a base hit to win it. To left center. And the comeback kids have tied it. And the Blue Devils will win another one run game. An unbelievable Sunday in Durham. The Blue Devils sweep the Hurricanes in an 11-inning thriller.